Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Julie Benfish Academy. I am currently traveling. I'm on my way to a city called Moe, very close to Lagos in Ogun State. And I am going there to install a farm for a client who is based in the UK, that is the United Kingdom. This client called me some time ago and told me he needs a farm in Nigeria and he wants a farm to be um, a farm that he can be, you know, monitor from where he is, have good record keeping, accountability, and accuracy in everything. So I am going to make two trips towards the effect of this. My first trip will be to carry on the pre-farming installation activities, while my second trip will be to install the farm proper. Stay tuned and watch us as we start this farm from the scratch to the ending. Thank you. Let's get started. Boom, so now the work begins. At this point, we have to cut all the different short parts of the tarpaulin stands. And of course, after cutting, the next thing we do is to wedge the different joints that will fit in on the pillars of the tarpaulin. And of course, after the welding of this part, then all the stands would have been ready and prepared to stand the tarpaulin pond itself. This part is a little bit time consuming because accuracy is key one must ensure that each angle is at 90 degrees to each other to avoid giving the tarpaulin um, a sagging stage any mistake done at this stage stand the chances of collapsing the tarpaulin when loaded with water at this point the construction of all the joints is complete as you can see they are all arranged in order and ready for installation now we have to cut the different two inches pipes, one and a half inches pipe and one and quarter inches pipe as recommended and wet them together to slot within the different slots of the stand. At this point, we are preparing the lid, the lid cover. The lid cover is actually a cover that is designed so as to prevent birds, prevent criminals from affecting your farm and as well give your, your pawn a very strong support and constructing this lid should be done in such a way that it fits exactly the size of your tarpaulin pawn from the top and that is why you see this skeletal stand already designed here where measurement is taken accurately to be able to fit exactly on the stands on the lid that you see below once the construction is complete of the lid we will stand and it will fit exactly as what you see here. This actually takes quite some time. And of course, the lid is designed in such a way that you can comfortably open the pond and close the pond without issues. And you can as well padlock the pond at the end of the day if you want to leave the house or leave the farm so that you don't have people come to address what you have labored for this is our design this is our intellectual property and then also the oxygenated system that is the reason for this driller this driller will help us bore hole in each of the half inches pipe so as to have an oxygenated means of water supply inside the pond in the course of preparing this uh, uh, in the course of preparing this hose for the oxygenated system one must be careful so as to have the holes arranged in a very regular manner for each and every one of them. And thereafter, we tag the nets on top of the lid cover. And tagging the net on the lid cover should also be done properly. It takes time, but you have to be patient. Good things do not come easily. Good things take time to come. And by the time you pay the price of uh, the good thing you have done, the client will enjoy it for donkey years. And then next we have here is to prepare the different slots where through the oxygenated system will flow through the stands. And that is what you see on your screen I'm preparing over there. And as soon as I'm done with that preparation, we take the next stage of the construction process, which will happen shortly. Now at this point, the lid cover is complete. As you can see, everything has been done and properly designed. The next thing remaining is to fit it on top of the stands properly to make them cover the pond. It has as well been painted. 
what I'm doing here now is simply preparing the different slots through which the half inch pipe will pass through to enhance an oxygenator system for the pond. Remember, the oxygenator system in the pond is our special design and you won't find it anywhere. If you see it somewhere, it has been copied from this channel. Thank you. So, very briefly, I'm going to show you the different materials we have on ground for the installation of the fan. And as soon as we are done with the installation of the fan, I will send a short video clip to the client over there in the UK. He's going to see it. And then, of course, he's going to like what, he has, what we have done and uh, he will continue from there with the staff he has at hand. All right, so just very briefly, what is here at the back here are two different uh, capacities of tank. They are basically um, um, 2,000 liters capacity, each of them. This 2,000, this 2,000, these are the frames we're gonna use for the tarpaulin pond. And then these ones are for the scaffolding. We're gonna do a scaffold of about three or four feet high above the ground just to have this it is purely for the farming system so nothing much the net you see over there will be used for to cover the lid of the tarpaulin and then let me just take you around what you have here is uh, a borehole this is where water will be coming from the ground to power the farm and then this is uh, a 1000 liters capacity tank we're going to install two tanks here and then what you see here this shed you see here is actually for the juveniles for the nursery pond that is going to be done the nursery pond is what is going to be here and then what you see here is the pit which we have designed where the wastewater will go into oh yes the wastewater will go under the ground because this is an estate you cannot afford to pollute the environment because you are a farmer so water will be directed into the ground returning the water to the earth that's the essence of what you see here and then, of course, uh, there are offices around. These are the tarpaulins we are going to use for the installation process. These are very thick tarpaulins, trust me. Very thick and very durable. There are two of them. This is 500 capacity. What you see here is 500 capacity and 1,600 capacity. That is what you have there. And then, finally, the fingerlings. Not fingerlings, anyway. Juveniles. I don't know if you'll be able to see them clearly, but... Um, they have been inside here and waiting for their pond to be prepared, their environment to be prepared. What you have in these 50 liters is about 1,000 um, juveniles. And by the time we are done installing the pond, they will definitely have their environment done and they will enjoy it. All right, so it's time to start work. Let's get there and make this farm a reality. So I'm going to take you through the journey of how to install this farm here and then see what comes out of it. Boom. So that is that for the pH. Next is to prepare the pump so that it can get to the deepest part of the borehole. It must get to the water level so that it can suck water out of the ground for you to have it at the surface for your farming purpose. And of course, in the process of doing that, first you have to tie the first pipe and ensure that you tie it properly because that is more or less like at the base it has to be tight fitting like really tight fitting and for you to achieve that you will need a, you will need a machine a kind of plier machine to be able to achieve that so all you need to do is tight it extremely very well extremely very well because it is the one holding the pump and from there water will flow into other pipes before it gets to the surface it has to be properly and firmly tight and as soon as we are done with that, the next thing to do is to now deepen the pump into the borehole. And that hole you see there is over 300 feet beneath the ground. 300 feet is not too deep. There are some locations where you have up to 400, 500, or even 800 feet before you can get water. However, the deeper it is, the more expensive it is to drill. So now the job has kicked off and we have been able to make quite some achievement. What we are doing right now here is the installation of the, the stand for the 4,000 liters. And then by the time we are done with that, we'll paint those rods and install them properly so that it can accommodate the 4,000 liters, each of them 2,000. And then you can see everywhere it's still scattered because we are currently working. We have successfully installed the first pond. The black pond you see over there is 500 capacity. The lid has already been installed as well. And what you see here are plumbing materials. These are all the plumbing materials we're gonna use throughout this job. 
So this 500 capacity that has been installed is so that the fish will have a base where they can sit and you know have their life in order while the construction is going on. And that is why this pond has to be installed first and also properly maintained. The lid covers are opened and of course this work is still going and going just fine. So having installed it, the next thing to do is to maintain. You have to wash the inside with salt, saline solution. This is to prevent any form of bacteria or any form of impurity that is on the pond from affecting your juveniles. And the washing has to be done thoroughly. And as soon as you are able to disinfect it, the next thing to do is to stock after rinsing properly. And of course, what you have here is a thousand fish. The farmer wants to begin small to grow big. So this is a thousand fish capacity. And what is going to happen now is we are going to install these fish into their home. But we do that bit by bit so that you can have appropriate record. And so counting is key. You have to count to know exactly the quantity of fish you have in your farm. Remember, the owner of this farm is UK based. And on that note, he needs accuracy and accountability of his product. So having done the counting, he will take record of the products he have, and each time there is casualty in the farm, he will be notified in one way or the other so that he has good record keeping. Now the counting is complete, and what you see now are all the fish inside the weather and they are living just fine. Feeding can take place a few hours later, not immediately, because the fish are stressed up and they need to acclimatize themselves properly and of course acclimatization will take about four hours at times three hours is okay so next we have been able to install the big pond this is the 1500 capacity pond properly installed already the lid cover is what is remaining and the drainage outlets are yet to be installed this is the 500 capacity with the fish already inside having fun and then preparing and waiting for their feeding and then what you see here is the stand for the 2,000 liters capacity. Two of them, that will be 4,000 liters as a whole. And next, having done this work, the next we are going to introduce you to is the oxygenated system. Yes, for the 1,500 capacity, the oxygenated system has already been designed. And for it to be designed properly, it cuts across all the four corners of the pond. And that is exactly the green pipes you see over there, over there, yeah. It has been designed and once water comes it splashes through like shower next you must plumb you must plumb to be sure that your pond is in order if it is not in order you have to look for materials to put at the bottom so that it must be 90 degrees it must be erect and that thumbs up means it is accurate and on that note you can start feeding water and carrying on with your farming system we also have to plumb this just to avoid any error everything is in good shape congratulations so next we have to take the next step and the next step is just to start the whole process now let's give you a rundown of what the farm is all about and what we have been able to achieve within this period of time boom all right ladies and gentlemen finally the job is complete now look at how amazing and magnificent this farm looks like yeah, it's, a more, it's an ultra modern farm if you want to call it that way. It's a type of lead pond that comes with, uh, that comes with uh, a lead cover. And this lead that you see has about three good functions it performs. Number one, it prevents birds from the sky from, you know, perching on your product. And then number two, it also prevents thieves. You know, people that can come and steal what you have in your farm. And that is why you also have a lock here. And that lock here, and that's the answers of this padlock you see here. So you can stop anybody from stealing your products when you are not around. And then the finally number three reason it does it that it secures your pawn and makes your pawn very strong. Because it comes with boats, everything is losable. You can lose them here and you find the boat at the bottom here. So you can lose this and tight it very, very well. And that gives your pawn a very strong, uh, a very strong fitting and support and will not collapse no matter the volume of the water that gets into the pond. So this is a 1,000, um, I say 1,000, 1,500 capacity JBF tarpaulin pond. And if you see, this is an oxygenated water system. It has holes here, it has holes over there, and that is how it cuts across round. 
So when you put on your valve, let me show you where the valve is. When you put on the valve, the valve is somewhere here. We are still at work. The construction is not complete. When you put on this valve from here, it will go around. Water will go around all those pipes and we splash like shower. And that makes the whole system beautiful for the fish because the fish like water that splashes and they are more oxygenated. It comes with padlocks as well. And then it also has another source of water apart from the oxygenated system. And the source of water we are talking about is what you will see here. You see them here. This is where you control all the water inlet. That takes water into the pond, takes water into the pond, and then the same thing over there. It takes water into the pond. That is outside the oxygenated system. This is 500 capacity. And of course, the same water oxygenated system is there, and it has a separate supply. The tank you see over there supply all the oxygenated system of the whole pond, while the two tanks you see over there, 2,000 liters each, that's 4,000. Those ones will help you put water through this um, other controllers and then another amazing thing about this farm is that as we speak to you we have stocked the farm work is still very much in progress we are laying the foundations of the pipe and all that all pipes will be on the ground all they will soon be covered and totally nobody will know that there are pipes here and these pipes on the ground you see we flow through here and then Boom, that will take you to the soccer way you see over there, which I'm coming to. But just very briefly, here we have about a thousand juveniles stocked already. And the farmer has already spent quite some money in doing this. And uh, I'm happy that in no distant time, he's gonna reap the fruit of his labor. So let me take you to the other side. What you see here, still some plumbing materials around. All right, so lastly, the waste pond. This is where the waste is gonna go. We are still very much working, that's where you see all these uh, instruments and all these uh, plumbing stuffs on ground. The wastewater is going here. The depth of this is about, uh, about 33 feet deep, and any water that is coming here goes into the earth directly. And as it reaches the earth, before the next water comes, it will, go into the earth and more will continue like that, like that, like that. And the way it is being designed, there is a design method applied in this underground uh, system such that, you know, water coming out from ponds usually have feed and undigested food. And those undigested food substances can form a seal at the bottom, thereby preventing the water from, you know, you know um, diffusing into the ground. So we have room for that. We have a technology we have applied below the ground that will prevent these see these uh, waste products from um, blocking the underground part of the soccer way and preventing water from you know giving giving having access to the ground. And then before you know it is full. So we have that uh, technology applied to curtail that effect. So basically, that is all about this farm. If you need something like this, trust me, this tarpaulin pond you see is the best of its kind. You won't see it anywhere. The reason is because it is my own ideology. This is my own technology. This is my own intellectual property. And everything that you see here is applied knowledge. Applied knowledge. Consult us. Contact us. The number you see on your screen can be accessed through WhatsApp and order for something like this. It is highly braised. If you check, what you see here is about two, uh, two and a half inches galvanized pipes, and you have a lid cover of one by two, and you have it totally blocked and secured. This is one of the best of its kind. If you need something like this, contact us. I will make it available for you. And trust me, if you see this design anywhere, this same design anywhere, be rest assured it has been copied from this amazing channel. Thank you for watching. This is Julie Ben Fish Academy. Boom.